Hello everybody, it's Johnny Addison with The Pamper Chef, and I'm in my kitchen today cooking. I am actually making two different dips today. I'm making easy guacamole, and I'm making fresh tomato salsa. Um, the, I'm going to start with the salsa one and get it going, okay? We are using our manual food processor, which is a great, easy to use food processor, and it has the mechanical, uh, mechanical mechanism that turns the blade inside, and the blade is staggered so that you don't, don't get static pushing around, but you actually get lift and chop with this. So, our recipe calls for us to juice a lemon, so I'm going to use our handy dandy citrus juicer for that, and I'm just going to squeeze that right here. I'm going to put the put my finger over the top of the mechanism so I don't get everything down in it because that way it makes it easier for me to be able to use the the chopping the mechanism the top mechanical mechanism on on it without getting everything filled up inside. So um, I'm going to pour the rest of this out, and I think that'll probably be enough. I wasn't supposed to drop the lemon seed or the half of the lemon in there, so excuse me while I fish out the seed. Okay, there you go. I think one half of the lemon will probably be enough. I am going to put a couple of cloves. Actually, these are kind of small, so I'm going to use four cloves for the medium to small cloves in our garlic press. I am not peeling the garlic. I'm just putting garlic all down in there. And then I'm just pressing it directly into the manual food processor. And can you see how it comes out? Did you see how that, that, that happened? Um, and then the paper or the husk on it stays in the press. And we just clean it out like that. That's some garlic that can go in there. And now I'm going to do two more cloves. And the neat thing about this is our garlic press is made of low gauge stainless steel. So that if we get the oils from the garlic in, on our hands and they, they make it smell like garlic and stink, we can just run it under the water, cool water and rub our hands on it and it helps to remove the odors and the oils from our hands so that we don't have um, that garlic smell on our fingers all day long. So, one of the benefits of fresh garlic is it is it's a heart healthy product. Garlic helps, in, helps reduce blood pressure, helps keep, uh, works great on heart, uh, heart health, works good with indigestion, helps all of those processes. But if you use the minced garlic, it comes pre-preserved with formaldehyde, and that's not really good for you. So get one of our garlic presses and use garlic, uh, use fresh garlic. Each one of these is a clove. The whole bulb together is a bulb or a head of garlic. But this is just one clove. So when they ask you for or talk to you about a clove of garlic, that's what they're asking you to put in. I am using a red onion, and we have a huge one here, so I'm actually going to only use half of it. And when I'm only using half of an onion, I cut and use the portion of the onion away from the root ball, because if you don't disturb the root ball, that's where most of the sulfur is. And that's where you get most of your tears and most of your um, odors from is the root ball there at the um, bottom end of the onion. So, learned that little tip at a recent training that I was in in Boston. Uh, one of our co-directors up there shared that with all of us and showed us an easy way to also, if you're using this in, an easy way to also eliminate the odors and the, the sulfur from, from it by simply cutting the core in out. 
And I'm going to show you that real quick with this. If we're like this and we just go in at an angle, about, about an inch below the ball, and just kind of cut around like this, so that we take out that center section, we don't get the rough onion odor, taste, flavor in our in there. So you have the segment, and that's where most of your strong onion odors originate is in the ball section. I'm going to use that last half of the red onion in the uh, fresh uh, guacamole that we're making. So I'm going to set that over here. that sitting right, uh, right here. But I don't want to be in the way of the cameraman because he's already told me to watch how I do that. So I'm just going to take some cilantro. I bring it home, rinse it off, and put it into a cup so that it doesn't wilt or die or get mushy in the refrigerator. This has actually been in our house for a little over a week now, just sitting out on the counter in a cup. And there's water in the cup. And there's water in the bottom of the cup, right? I've got it. I've got it like it was just a plant uh, to keep it fresh and live. So, uh, what else do I need? I need some salt. I need some lime juice. But before I juice the lime, I'm also going to zest it. And I'm using our microplane fine adjustable grater to zest it. And I'm just going to pull it lightly across it. I'm only taking the green color off of the lime because the white under is really, really bitter. It's called the pith, and it's what makes your um, lime, lemon, things really, really bitter. So we're just going to lightly take off as much of the lime zest as I can get off, and I'm going to add it into it, and then I'm going to juice this lime with the citrus press. Can you see how easily that's doing? And it's just building up on the, on the back side. I pull it this way because I can see what's happening. I can also see underneath the blade of the, of the zest, uh, the, the microplane to see that I am not pulling too deep into the white. So, and I'm just going to finish this up a little bit and add this to the fresh salsa that we're making. Okay, this just rakes right off, and I'm going to just add that in there. This is also great for your hard cheeses like your Parmesan, your Reggiano, those kind of things. Excellent, excellent, excellent piece. I'm going to take the stem end off of a jalapeno, and I'm going to, going to half it, use our Corn and more to clean out the seeds and the veins because that's where most of the hot, hot uh, spiciness comes from in the jalapeno. So I don't like my, my uh, salsa or my guacamole to be extremely hot. So I take those out. Other people who do like the spice and the heat leave those in. But like I said, I'm a, I'm a little bit of a wimp when it comes to that. So I do not leave it in. And then I'm just going to... Cut this into strips and add them into the processor. And a half is uh, a half might be enough, but I'm going to go ahead and add this whole one because I've got I've got it. And if I need to, I can soften it down a little bit with some extra tomatoes if it's too too spicy. Again, the jalapeno pepper has. Uh, oils in them that are extremely hot, so you can use the stainless garlic press to help remove those as well. But you still want to be very, very, very careful when you're using jalapenos not to touch your face or eyes <clears throat> after you've done it because you will, you could possibly still have oils on your hands and hurt your, your eyes and burn from the capsaicins. Okay. I have my uh, lime zested. I'm going to half it, use the citrus press, and press it in there. I 
And before you guys got here, I had rolled the lime on the counter a little bit to help make it a little juicier and make the juices flow a little easier. So you just would simply roll your lime like that on the counter. Roll your lime like that on the counter. Can you see it? Okay. Trying to keep aware of what I'm doing so I'm not blocking the camera angles and everything. Okay, uh, salt, pepper. I'm going to add a little of our, um, a little chipotle seasoning for that, a little bit more of that Mexican Southwestern flavor kick. I'm just going to process this down until it's finally, fairly finely chopped. And then I'm going to scrape down the side walls and make sure that everything is processed evenly. And that is smelling amazing. Isn't it, cameraman? Yes. Okay. And I'm going to do that again. And we just simply use a complete motion. Let it come back up. Okay, that's good and chopped. I'm going to add our tomatoes and see where we are by the into these two if we need some more I've got a, one more over here I believe what kind of tomatoes are those these are plum tomatoes I got them at uh, the local grocery store yesterday and they were fairly reasonable price so I am delighted uh, some people will juice the will seed and juice these so that they're just using the pulp but I like, the, I like the juiciness in mine, so I add them all directly in there. And we'll start with one tomato. Let's see if we can get... And then I'm going to add the other tomato that I've... <laughs> Got to make sure that the mechanism connects so it won't work ever. And there you go. There you have it. Our salsa is pretty much done. Cameraman, you want to be our taste tester? No. Okay. How does it smell? It smells awesome. And I then am going to... This has a little locking mechanism in it as well, so you can lock the handle down and not have to worry about it. The blade is extremely sharp. The blade and the bowl are dishwasher safe, top shelf. The top mechan uh, me mechanical mechanism on it is not. It is hand wash only and not to be submerged underwater because the, the mechanism inside workings will uh, corrupt. So I'm going to taste this. Then I'm going to cover it and let it sit until we're ready to serve it tonight with our supper. We're having um, chicken fajitas margaritas, sauce, and guacamole tonight. So, wish you guys were here. Talk to you later. Thanks. Bye-bye.